Hi everybody. I miss you, but since I can't see you, I can still read a book for you. So today I thought I would read a book called Starting Life, Ladybug. This book is hard to hold and read at the same time, so I'll just turn the pages and read the books for you. Starting Life, Ladybug. This book was written by Claire Llewellyn and illustrated by Simon Mendez. The pictures are beautiful, so make sure you pay attention to those. It is a dry spring morning, and in the meadow, a ladybug is laying her eggs. She lays about 20 eggs beneath a leaf where they will be out of sight. The ladybug has chosen the plant with care. It is covered with tiny insects called aphids. These will soon be food for her young. When she has finished, the ladybug flies away. She does not stay to care for her young. After about a week, the eggs turn brown. A day later, they are ready to hatch. Some of the eggs split open by themselves. Others have their tops chewed off by the tiny creatures inside. They are called larvae. They wriggle and squirm to free themselves from the eggs. After hatching, the larvae are very hungry. The first thing they eat is their own eggshell. It contains many good things that help them grow. Ladybug larvae are blue-gray with yellow spots. They have long, thin bodies that are covered with spiky bristles. The larvae have three pairs of legs, just like their parents, but they have no wings and cannot fly. The ladybug larvae crawl up and down the plants looking for aphids to eat. The larvae grow so quickly that their skin soon feels tight. Suddenly, pop, it splits open. The larvae crawl out of their old tight skin. Now they have brand new skin in a larger size. Three or four weeks after hatching from the egg, a larva is fully grown. It stops feeding, fixes itself to a leaf or stem, and sheds its skin one last time. Underneath is a new skin that turns hard. Now the larva is inside a pupa. A pupa is like a hard case. Inside the larva does not feed or move around, but it is very much alive. Inside the pupa, the larva is changing into something completely new. One week later, the pupa splits open and a pale, crumpled creature crawls out. It is a ladybug. The new ladybug rests for a while. Then it stretches its wings, ready to fly off into the air. The new ladybug is soft and pale. In a few days, it will turn bright red and spots will appear. The adult ladybug is a small, round, colorful beetle. The outside of its body is tough and shiny and protects its soft insides. Like all beetles, ladybugs spend a lot of time crawling on the ground. They fly only to escape from danger or to look for food. A ladybug looks like it has two pairs of wings, but only the back pair are used for flying. The front pair are wing cases, which fold down and protect the fragile wings when they are not in use. Adult ladybugs feed on aphids just like ladybug larvae. Gardeners and farmers often welcome ladybugs because aphids are pests that can ruin plants. Some kinds of ladybugs are pests themselves and feed on lemon trees, orange trees, squashes, and beans. Ladybugs are usually left alone when they feed. Their bright colors work as a warning system, telling birds and other predators that they taste very bad. Ladybugs smell and taste very bad. If a young bird tries to eat one, it will usually spit it out. From then on, the bird avoids the brightly colored beetles. If a ladybug is attacked, it rolls over and pretends to be dead. 
Then a bad-tasting orange poison oozes out of its knees, which help to keep predators away. In some years, the ladybug's food begins to run out. This happens when the summer is cool and wet, or when too many ladybugs live in one place and there are not enough aphids to go around. Then thousands of ladybugs gather together in a huge group called a swarm and fly off somewhere new. Spreading out to new places helps them to survive. A new ladybug develops all summer long. Most of them die in the cool days of fall, but the ones that developed at the end of the summer survive until the following spring. They find themselves a shelter out of the wind and begin a deep winter sleep known as hibernation. Hundreds of ladybugs hibernate together. Some find their way into farm buildings and outhouses. Others shelter in a leaf litter or under the bark of a tree. Ladybugs do not live through more than one winter, but groups return to the same place to hibernate year after year. Bright spring days return to the meadow. New plants start to flower and insects begin to stir. The ladybugs have awoken from their hibernation and look around for aphids to eat. In late spring and all through the summer months, the male and female ladybugs mate. As new eggs appear on the fresh green leaves, new ladybugs are starting life. And here, just like in our classroom, <clears throat> is the life cycle of a ladybug. We have the eggs, then they're hatching. Here's the larva. He made a pupa. And one week later, a baby bug comes out. And two days later, it turns into a full-grown ladybug. Isn't that a beautiful book? I love this book. Now for fun, I thought I'd show you how to draw a ladybug. I'm going to use markers, but you can use pencils or crayons, whatever you like. First thing you want to do is draw a capital letter T. This will probably be the only time I ask you to draw a capital T in print. <laughs> so enjoy it. I have my capital T. I'm going to put a round half circle to make the head. And then I'm going to draw from here to the bottom to make a body. Let's put some antenna on our ladybug. I think he needs to be colored in, so I'm going to color him in black. Just a quick coloring in. See if I can cover as much of that white as possible. Then I'm going to take a red and color in the, the wings, or the wing cases. These are the wing cases. This is just a quick coloring. And I'll do this side too. Just quickly. You can color the whole thing in if you want to. Now I think my ladybug needs spots, so let's give him some spots. Maybe one here and one here. And then he needs legs, he needs six of them because he's an insect. And there's your ladybug. Here's another way to draw a ladybug. If you want to draw one, draw one on his side. There's a lowercase t. Here's his head. I'll give him some antenna. And here's his body. We'll just give him three legs because it's only on one side. And I'll color him in red. This is art lessons too, so you don't have to color him in red. You can color him in whatever color you want. This is just a fun way to draw a bug. I'm going to give mine some spots. 
And there are two different ladybugs. They might need some grass. So I think I'll give them some grass. And there you go. Ladybugs. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Bye-bye.